The following is a special presentation of Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, alternating the reality of sports and entertainment since 2020. Welcome to our latest installment of the Hometown Football League, our next to last game of the regular season. This is the 89th game I have done on this channel. We did a few on pay hip, uh, but we are almost closing the deal on the regular season. We have Chicago and Cincinnati, and we'll get to the ramifications of that game in just a moment. But let's look at the other North Division games that have wrapped up. Detroit. We're 13-9 winners over Green Bay in a game that meant absolutely nothing. Favre threw most of the passes, Brett Favre, for Green Bay. But it was Stafford uh, with the only touchdown, a 10-yard pass to Pietro Sante, Nick Pietro Sante. And it was a close game, Detroit 286 to Green Bay's 245, a rather forgettable season for the Packers. And it was Stafford, 18 for 40, 201 yards. Sanders, Barry Sanders, 12 carries, 81 yards. Johnson had the most catches and the most yards, 8 for 114 for Detroit. And your leading tackler, well, we had a tie between Barnett of Green Bay with 8. Williams of Detroit also with 8. So that meant nothing, and both teams finished 7-11. and 11. Cleveland has won the Northern Division, and they have, they will have the best record going into the playoffs at 15 and three. As you see there, they dominated uh, the hapless Indianapolis Colts 31-3, 426 yards. Indy held to 135, and Plum, Milt Plum, who has been filling in for Otto Graham, Graham should be back. For the playoff push that will start for Cleveland week three, they'll get the lowest uh, remaining seed after two weeks of playoffs. They get a double bye. Plum 21 of 39, 278, two touchdowns. Jim Brown 19 carries, 110 yards. Winslow had the most catches and the most yards, eight for a buck 14. And your leading tackler was Buchanan of the Colts with 10. So we now know Cleveland has won the North Division and the top seed. They will finish 15-3, and three and they'll get whoever the lowest remaining seed after two weeks of the playoffs are. Minnesota and St. Louis. St. Louis, a loss would eliminate them, and they were eliminated as Minnesota wins 23-7 to to finish 11-7 and on the year. Dante Culpepper started. Peterson took player of the game honors. And then after this, we'll get to our game. We'll recap the rest of the North. Not the North. We did the North right now. Uh, we'll do the West Division and the South Division, the remaining games, and then get you to Dallas and Miami tomorrow. But it's now a three-team race. Let's do the player stats, and I'll, I'll pontificate a little later. Culpepper, the better passer, 13-22. Lomax and Jim Hart were the quarterbacks for Green, uh, St. Louis. Uh, Culpepper, 13-22, for 142, 148-1 pick, two touchdowns. Peterson, 21 carries, 120 yards. Holt and Bruce had five catches each for St. Louis, and Bruce had the most yards on the day, five for 50. And your leading tackler was, we had three for St. Louis at eight, Quinn, Carter, Meenert. So St. Louis, we now know they cannot make the playoffs. So it's a three-team race right now. If Cincinnati wins this game that they are about to play, and it will be in January weather, not September, 27 degrees. And I'll play as Cincinnati. It's, it's down to three teams. 
for the 16th and final playoff spot. It'll either be Cleveland, I'm sorry, not Cleveland, Cincinnati, New England, or Houston. Everybody else at 10 and 8, they are in including Atlanta and Denver, who lost uh, the Saturday games, which put Tampa Bay and, uh, Be- not Vegas, Denver won. So it's Atlanta and Vegas. They will be in the playoffs for all, unless something rather bizarre happens. Uh, Baltimore is in. Pittsburgh is in. Everybody at 10 and 8 is in. And it's just a matter of trying to find out who will survive amongst Cincinnati, New England, and Pittsburgh? If Cincinnati wins, they're in. If they lose, they are more than likely out. It's 27 degrees and clear at Paul Brown Stadium. <laughs> Chicago can improve on their seating, but they cannot win the North Division. Best they can do is go 14-4. and four. If Cincinnati were to lose, Houston probably gets in if they beat Jacksonville. Now, if that does not happen, then New England gets in on the basis of a head-to-head win over Cincinnati earlier in the season. But Houston winning... Uh, would force a three-way tie at 9-9, nine and nine, and Houston would have the advantage on net point. Chicago won the toss and defers, and Cincinnati will receive. They are in the orange and black. Watson, Jones, and Brooks back deep for the Bengals. And they're going to take it one yard out. Win and they're in. Lose, they are very likely out. Oh, not a good return there for Watson. Only brought it out to the 12, a 13-yard return. Your... Offense for Cincinnati, Dylan and Kennebrew will be the running backs. Hushman Zada and Green at wideout. Ross the tight end, Anderson the quarterback. And it's Munoz, Steinbach, Johnson, Montoya, and Anderson on the offensive line. Cleveland probably will be, not Cleveland, I, I said it again. Cincinnati will probably be more inclined to pass the ball, but they won't do it on the first play. Here's Dylan on a trap right, and off we go. And that is a gain of five yards for Corey Dillon. Defensively for Chicago, it's Atkins, Dent, McMichaels, and Chambers. The front four, Steve Mungo, McMichael, not plural. Fortunato, Erlacher, and Marshall, your linebackers, Lane, Tillman. Carrier and Fensick, and I'm sure they're going to be throwing away from Night Train Lane. Chicago Cardinal, so he's eligible to play for the Bears since he played in Chicago. We'll go Collinsworth on a slant on second and five. And Anderson will run, and he's a good runner. A gain of 14 there. McCray on the stop. They bring him in as a nickelback. So it's first and 10, the ball at the 31. We'll have Miami and Dallas for you tomorrow. Plus the Houston result will be part of what we do uh, with the recaps before the game. Corey Dillon off tackle left side, first and 10. He will gain two yards. So Cleveland is the number one seed. And they will have a bye. All division winners will have a two-week bye which in real life would really be a problem, but in action PC football, probably not. Screen to Dillon on second and eight. And Corey's got that, and he didn't gain much yardage, though. Just one yard, and that sets up third and seven. Happy uh, Cinco de Mayo to you all. Third and seven, the ball at the 34. I celebrated by having a lasagna. Medium fly to A.J. Green on third and seven. He's got it. A 16-yard gain, and this is what Cincinnati needs to do is control the ball. And they get a good time of possession. They'll probably win this game. Dylan on an outside run in the double tight set, first and ten. And it's Dylan running for 14 yards. And Lane making the stop for the Bears. 
And this is what, exactly what the doctor ordered for Cincinnati. Win and they're in, lose, they're likely out. Long fly to A.J. Green. No win. And Green's got it. He's got a score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Thirty-second touchdown pass for Anderson, the twelfth TD grab for Green. Six nothing. Here is your point after good by Graham. Seven nothing, and that's just what Cincinnati needed. Nine fifty-three left in the opening quarter. Gale Sayers back deep. We've seen his exploits so far at least a couple of times, and Sayers will run it to the thirty-one. A gain of twenty on the return offensively for Chicago. It's Peyton. Kelliger at uh, running back. Hill and Graham, the wideouts. Ditka, the tight end. Orton, the quarterback, in for Sid Luckman. I'm sure we'll see him in the playoffs. Connor, Fortman, Bulldog Turner, Ramsey, and Covert are your offensive linemen. Let's focus in on Bulldog. He's also a linebacker. Not uh, used that much by Chicago as a linebacker, but he can play both ways and play both ways well. Ditka over the middle, a gain of 14. Dunlop walking off. His return probable. So with that in mind, I will give you the defense as it stands now for Cincinnati. Edwards, Smith, Atkins, and Reed, your front four. Spikes. Berge and Perfect, your linebackers. Parrish, Riley, Casanova, Nelson, your defensive backs. First and 10 at the Cleveland 45. So we could know today the 16 playoff entrance. As that was a flip to Graham by Orton, a gain of five yards. Second and five from the 50. Chicago at 13 and four, Cincinnati nine and eight, but all they need to do today is win and they will make the playoffs. Peyton with a gain of eight, Riley on the stop. Great uh, defensive back Cincinnati had out of Florida A&M. War number 13. First and 10, because he was a throwback from the days before the uh, numbering conventions took hold. Cincinnati had to call timeout defensively, which strikes me a bit odd. So they will have two timeouts the remainder of the half. 8-17 left, first quarter. And we have a 7-0 Cincinnati lead. Ball at the 42 of Cincinnati or Chicago. Orton incomplete. Graham, the intended receiver, good coverage by Parrish. Setting up second and ten. First incompletion of the game for Orton. And there's a second incompletion as, again, Orton looking for Graham and then good coverage again by Parrish. Second verse, same as the first. Third and ten, ball to 42. Orton, yes, that's to Ditka. And Ditka will score. Touchdown, Chicago. That puts Ditka... Over a thousand yards, a 42 yard reception, and it puts them at a thousand and twenty five on the season. And the Bears strike back harder with the point after good, and we are tied seven to seven, seven forty five left in the opening quarter. And Watson again back deep for Cincinnati takes it at the goal line, so he's got to return it. Not a good return, just 18 yards. A tackle made by Doug Plank. Dylan inside run and a double tight end set. And he only got two yards there. Lane, night train lane bringing down Corey Dillon. Medium fly to green on second and eight. And Anderson back to throw. It's going to be picked. Holding. Offense. And it's going to stand. 65, 10 yard penalty. As a holding penalty by Montoya seals the deal on that. Benny McCray with his third pick of the year. And Chicago very quickly back in business. First and 10 at the 33. If Cincinnati loses, it'll be down to Houston and New England. Plag. Pass interference. Defense. Number 13. Automatic. First down. And this is a revolting series of developments if you're a Bengal fan. Pass interference bring, makes it first and 10 at the 17. We have 
631 left in the first quarter. It's 7-7. Seven, seven. And this is Peyton, a nine-yard gain. Casanova on the tackle, setting up second and a yard from the eight, and the Bears back in business. And it's Peyton. Peyton's going to be trapped behind the line. Kelliger is out. So we have Roland Harper coming in for the Bears. I have not seen Harper play. He's out of Louisiana Tech, was actually a teammate of Walter Payton's. Third and three, ball at the 10. And Orton looking for 81. Graham, incomplete. Turner is now out the center. So we're seeing a lot of injuries in the early going of this game. Gould will try one from 27. He hits, and it's 10-7 Bears. Five twenty-four left opening quarter. And Watson back deep for Cincinnati. He's not had a couple of good returns. But this one, not too bad. A 23-yard return out to the 26. Dillon on a dive on first and 10. Eight in the box for Chicago. And it's a two-yard gain. Montoya with that holding penalty is going to be out. So I think Zeit, uh let's check the young man replacing him. Zeitler, out of Wisconsin, comes in to replace him. And it's going to be second and eight. So we're seeing a lot of injuries early on in this game. Medium out to Chris Collinsworth on second. It's caught, and a nice grab for Chris. 15-yard gain. First and 10 at the 42. And we'll go along to Hushmanzada. And it's a catch for Hushmanzada. They beat the double team that was put on TJ. A gain of 15. First and 10 at the Chicago. 43. Dylan on the stretch play. Will gain. Three yards. Montoya back in. Second and seven, ball at the Chicago 40-yard line. Long fly to A.J. Green. We'll try that again. Worked so well the first time. Oh, just overthrew him. An incompletion. Third and seven from the 40. We'll go to Ross on a cross and hope he's boss. There's the throw. It went to Green instead of first down, a gain of eight. 234 now left in the opening stanza, and we have a 10 7 bear lead. Dylan over the middle, and he gains two yards. Second and eight from the 30 yard line. How about TJ on a medium cross? TJ Hoosman Zada. And that's a nice grab, a gain of 15 more yards. Anderson has started 7 of 9 for 106 yards. One pick, one touchdown. Pitch right to Dillon on first and 10 from the 15. And here is Dillon gaining for the corner, gaining 7 yards. That will do it for the first quarter, and it was a wild one. Chicago 10. Cincinnati, seven. Chicago with nine plays, 76 yards, seven passes. Cincinnati, 18 plays, 157 yards, nine runs and nine passes. So we begin the downward descent to the end of the first half. Medium fly route, A.J. Green on second and three from the eight. And it's going to be Corey Dillon with the touchdown. And Cincinnati is going to retake the lead at 13-10. Extra point. Good. By the way, let me apologize for the audio difficulties I had on the live stream last night. Uh, we played out New England, New York. And New York won the East Division with a 27-24 win. 
So they will get the double bye in their division. And Washington will finish high up. They'll probably get a bye at least to the second week, I would think, with their, I think they have a 13-5 and five record. So Sayers back deep. It's a touchback. First and 10 from the 20, and let's see what the Bears can come back with. Over the middle there to Graham. A nine-yard game. It's going to set up second and Uno from the 29. Cincinnati wins. They're in the playoffs, and we have our 16 playoff teams. I am not going to challenge the spot of the ball. I'll give them the first down. I want to save my challenge for a point in the game. I might really need it. First and 10 from the 30. That was Harlan Hill. Defense. Number 94. The play will stand. Penalty. And Cincinnati uh, giving up a lot of yardage themselves. Orton has started 6 of 9 or 95 yards. And it's a lot of work to make Orton look good. First and 10 at the 46. Orton with a lot of time overthrew Graham there, and it's going to be second and 10. The ball at the 46 still. 13-14 left in the second. Screen to Ditka, and Ditka picking up eight yards. Very nicely done. Third and a deuce at the 46 of Cincinnati. And that's Ditka again. Ditka, Johnny on the spot, 11 more yards. He already has four catches for 75 in this game, and we've only played about 18 minutes. First and 10 at the Cincy, 35. It's Orton, incomplete, looking for, I think that was Graham. No, he was throwing it to Ditka. Second and 10 at the Cincinnati, 35, and Peyton trudges ahead for three yards. He has three carries on the day, nine yards. Third and seven, ball at the 32. And that was Roland Harper picking up four yards. He'll be three yards shy of the first down. So it's a field goal attempt here for Gould. 45 yards, no win to speak of. And he hit it. And the lead now for Cincy is one point. 14 to 13, 946 now left in the second quarter. And like I said, that last playoff spot, it's now down to three teams. Cincinnati, New England, and Houston. One of those three teams is going to get that last spot. Everybody else at 10-8 and eight or better has made the playoffs, it so appears. Watson, Jones, and Brooks back deep for Cincy. And we'll take the touchback here. And we're going to go for the Bomba here. Play action bomb the green. But Anderson's going to run, and he runs well. Gain a 10. Didn't quite make the first down. So we'll try the same play again. Play action bomb. This time to Hujbanzada. See if we can beat Night Train. Long throw. Hujbanzada's got it, and he's got six points. Touchdown, Cincy. That puts Hujmanzada at exactly 100 yards for the day. Anderson, red hot, 9 for 11, 184, an interception, but three touchdowns already. Extra point try, good for Graham, 21-13. And back and forth we go. 835 left in the half, and it's Sayers back deep. Took it about two yards deep, but he's a threat anywhere he catches it. Francis with the stop at the 23, a return for Sayers at 25. First and 10 at the Chicago 23. We know Chicago will see in the playoffs, probably in the second week with that 13-4 and four record, which will either be 13-5 and five or 14-4 and four after the day. Harper with a gain of three. Smith on the stop for the Bengals. Second and seven. Ball at the 26. And it's Ditka with a gain of eight, and they rule out a first down. First and ten at the 34. Both quarterbacks lighting it up in the first half. Orton not doing too bad himself. Nine for 14, 122 yards. Well, now he's nine for 15. Is that pass to Graham, uh, to Peyton, incomplete. 
Second and ten. Ball at the 34. Six forty to go. Ditka incomplete. Third and ten. Ball at the 34 still, of course. And Orton finds Ditka. He got the first down. Just barely. That is Ditka's sixth catch of the day for 93 yards. And we still have ample time. Left in the first half. First and 10 at the 44. The give is to Peyton. Peyton, no gain. Kelliger is now out. He had just come back in. Fred Morrison is going to come in and replace him at fullback. He is out of the Ohio State University. And he had not seen any action prior to today. Second and 10, ball to 44. And that is Morrison. Uh, a gain of five. Morrison, his first catch of the season. Coming at a good spot. Third and five at the 49 of Chicago. And that's Peyton in the flat. Peyton was a very feared pass receiver out of the backfield in his playing days. That's a gain of 11. That's a first down. And the ball moves to the Cincinnati 40. We have 449 now left. In the half, a back and forth seesaw battle. And that is going to be a penalty. Let's check that first. Number 71, 10-yard penalty. George Connor called for holding. And it's now first and 20, and the Bears back to their 50. Well, actually, the 50 doesn't belong to either team. Orton looking for Morrison. The pass incomplete. Now Orison, Orton has slacked off a little bit. He's 12 for 20. And this pass was intended for Graham, an incomplete pass. Third and 20, ball to 50. And the pass to Graham way short of the first down. And the Bears will have to punt fourth and 15 from their 45, from the Cincinnati 45. I'll watch for a fake punt. And that was Brown with a 30-yard punt. Went for the out-of-bounds markers. Found them. So Cincinnati gets it back first and 10 at the 15. We'll go Kennebrew on a screen with Anderson being red hot. He was forced out of the pocket, so the throw wound up high, and Kennebrew could not get to it. How about Corey Dillon on a trap to the right side on second? And he will pick up two yards. Kennebrew walking off out for the game. So we enter Derek Fenner, who played a bit against Green Bay last week, as you see there. Third and eight. How about Collinsworth? Uh, we'll go medium slant to Chris. And Collinsworth slips behind the defenders, gets a 19-yard grab, and there's 232 left we will go hurry up here and we're going to just do a trap right to Dylan with three wide gain a two and now we'll go to the two minute warning Cincinnati 21 and Chicago 13 each team actually I take that back Chicago has all three of their timeouts Cincinnati has two and each team has their challenge Ross a medium cross to Ross on second and eight Incomplete. Third and eight now. We'll look to green on a medium slant. And that is caught. Gain of 16 yards. I don't want to call a timeout yet. We'll go no huddle. I only have two, so I want to save my timeouts to the last minute. And we'll go Hushmanzada medium out. First and 10 from the 46. Uh-oh. That's a pick. And it's a big pick for 33. Holding Tillman. offense. Number 65. 10-yard penalty. And that turnover will stand. Tillman, his sixth interception of this season. Curtis Conaway coming in. He'll be a third wide receiver for Chicago. And we'll check who the DB is. Looks like it's Fulcher. And that's Morrison to the 20, zigzagging all the way down to the 7-yard line, a gain of 25. Yes, Fulcher came in as the nickelback 
for Chicago there, for, for Cincinnati there. First and goal at the seven, a minute eight to go. And that's a touchdown. That went to Hill. Hill caught his 12th TD catch of the season to make it 21-19. The extra point for Harder, good, and it's 21-20. Still plenty of time for Cincinnati to do something, should they choose to. The kick to Watson is not going to be a good one. Up to the 14, a 13-yard return, 46 seconds. Left to go in our half. And we'll go fly to green here on first. And that's caught. Gain of 21. We have 36 seconds to go, and we'll call a timeout. Now we got to start looking at out plays. We'll go Collinsworth medium out. First and 10 from the 35. And he's got that. Did he get out of bounds? He did not. We're going to have to use our last timeout. 29 seconds left. And we're going to throw a long out to green, but I, I've clicked the button that says head out of bounds. So we'll try it. 50-50 chance it works. First and 10. And that went to Hujman Zada, who is now at 106 yards. After that gain of six, second and four, we have 22 seconds to go, and we want to get in field goal range. We'll try the long out again, again to Hushman Zada. And no, not that time. 15 seconds now left, third and four. A field goal here would be out of the question. We'll do a medium out to Ross. And we keep imploring the, uh, the receivers to get out of bounds. And that is Dylan, a gain of three. Five seconds left. We're going to try a Hail Mary. We're going to go trips left. And we'll go for the we'll go for the big one here. Hmm. Pickens comes in. I'm going to go Collinsworth. And hope for something good. There's the throw. Incomplete. That was dropped by Pickens, who might have had a sure touchdown. So we go to the uh, halftime break. Your score, Cincinnati 21, Chicago 20. An excellent game so far. And you're watching the Hometown Football League Season 2 wrapping up its regular season. On the Big Polly's World of Sports Sims YouTube channel. And welcome back. Start of the second half of play. The Bengals leading the Bears 21 to 10. Cincinnati wins. They're in the playoffs. If they lose, they are likely out. And the final playoff berth will come down to New England or Houston. Sayers back deep for Chicago. Catches it at about the two. Can he go 98? Not this time. That's a return of 25 yards. LeClaire on the stop for Cincinnati. We have had quite a wild first half as both teams have combined for 533 yards. Chicago with 202 of those, 31 plays, 24 of them have been passes, which is a shame because you got Walter Payton in your backfield. Cincinnati, 34 plays for 331 and 22 of them have been passes. First and 10 at the 27. Anderson's almost at a 300-yard gain already. Pickoff. And this is returned nicely by Nelson. The previous play is under review. They're going to look at it, but this is likely going to stand. Upon further review, the ball touched the ground. Oh, before being no. Incomplete. How about that, folks? 18% of chance of an overturn, and that's exactly what winds up happening. So Peyton under center, trying to get Cincinnati off guard. He'll run and gain five yards. Third and five. Ball to 32. Just getting the second half started. And that is Hill with a nice Holding grab. Offense. But it's going to come Number back. 66, 10-yard penalty. As Bulldog Turner gets called for holding. Third and 15. Almost a pick there as Ditka 
jammed his finger. He'll be out a few plays. Uh, probably it'll take the, the defensive series. Chicago is about to debark on to rest. Here's the punt. And this is going to be returned a little ways. Offsides. 14 Offense. yards. Five-yard penalty. We'll take the penalty. And we'll force uh, Chicago to punt again. Four from 20 from the 17. We'll see if they can get off a bad punt. And this is a nicer return, actually. Jones took it at the 44, returned at 11. Punt by Brown. The punt went 39, so it was a 28-yard net. I'm feeling froggy. Bomb the green again. First and 10 from the 45 of Chicago. There is that deep ball. And that's six points. Derek Fenner, his longest catch of the year, I would have to think for sure. And Anderson, with just one play in this second half, has gone over 300 yards. He's at 311. Extra point try is good by Graham. It's 28-20. With 13.09. I don't think a lot of people were expecting a shootout today between Chicago and Cincinnati, but it has come to fruition. We are now up to 376, 207. We're up to 583 yards of total offense. And now Sayers back deep. He's going to take it a yard deep. Like I said, he's a threat to score every time he touches the ball. The return there, 36 yards. From two yards deep in the end zone, so Chicago starts at their own 34. 12.57 now left, and the Bengals leading 28 to 20. And that is a catch for Graham. O'Connor, not O'Connor, Connor is going to have to take a little break. He seemed to have tweaked his foot. No, it's an undisclosed injury, so we're just guessing on that. Davis, Fred Davis, 24 is going to come in. I didn't, that does not look like Fred Davis of 1947 to me. But I could be wrong. Second and a yard. It's like Bob Davis. Last year we had the mystery of Bob Davis. And the Bob Davis we had a photo of. Looked like a, a photo taken, like, say, in the 70s or so. Third and a yard. Ball of the 43. As Peyton did not gain anything there. And on third in the yard, Morrison no gain. So the Cincinnati defense stones the running backs of Chicago a couple of times. Fourth in the yard, ball at the 43. I'll watch for a fake punt, although I don't think one is coming. And we're going to try to return this from inside the 10. Live, live dangerously, folks. Six-yard return. The punt went 46, so the net will be 40. And the Bengals leading. 28 to 20 with 11.09 left in the third. Outside run in the double tight end set for Dillon. But Chicago playing short tight. I'm going to try Hushmanzada on the bomb. Incomplete. Pass may have been caught by. Oh, well, it's only a 5% chance we get it, so let's just hang on to that. Second and 10 at the 17. Collinsworth on a medium cross. Deep loose, so we're going to screen it to Dillon instead. And Dillon will get a first down easily, a gain of 13. Anderson now up to 324 yards passing on the day. He was going to need some sort of Herculean effort to win this game. And so far, Cincinnati has delivered, and Kenny Anderson has delivered. Slant to A.J. Green, first and 10 from the 30. Anderson runs, and he's very good running the ball, gain of 14 yards. Ball now at the Cincinnati 44, first and 10. We'll hit Green on the cross here. And that's a catch. And Green with some running after the catch, a gain of 27. He has 124 yards today. So we have two uh, receivers for Cincinnati who have now each gone over 100 yards, and Anderson is at 351. First and 10 at the 29. How about a sluggo? Play action sluggo to Hushmanzada. 
and that is incomplete. As Anderson continuing to test the Chicago secondary, usually with good results, fly to Hushmanzada on second and 10 from the 29. And that a little too hot. Was intended for Collinsworth just out of his reach. So they'll go four wide, bring Pickens in. And that's where we're going to go on the medium cross. Third and 10 of the 29. And that is a catch for Huzman Jada, but just for four yards. Six yards short of the first. So they'll bring in Graham. He'll try a field goal of 42 yards. And he got it. It's an 11-point game at 31-20. to 20. 7-14, still got a long way to go. Left in the third quarter. Sayers back deep with Sano and Manning. Touchback. First and 10 at the 20. For Chicago, they trail by 11 now. Horton to Morrison, a loss of a yard. Atkins on the tackle. Second and 11 at the 19. Bengals now up more than a score. Overthrown there. Wharton was looking for Graham. Atkins out. He will be out a few plays. So Tim Crumry coming in. He probably most famous for being um, seriously injured in Super Bowl 23. Bengals against the 49ers. 49ers winning 20-16. to 16. Looking for Graham there. An incomplete pass. And Chicago has to punt. <laughs> And this is a good return for Jones, 13 yards. Brown, his punt went 43, so the net only 30. First and 10, Cincinnati at the Chicago 49. I keep thinking I can hit uh, Chicago deep. Play action bomb the green. And there's the throw, incomplete. What a marker. Holding, offense. Number 71, 10-yard penalty. They get Anderson, the lineman Anderson, not Kenny Anderson, for holding. And it's first and 20 at the 41. Screen to Dillon. Dillon's got it. And Dillon with a head of steam gains 16 of those 20 yards back. Second and four. Anderson at 371 on the day. Closing in on that 400 mark. Cincinnati now at 450 yards. They have outgained uh, Chicago more than 2-1, to one, and Chicago now at 215. Collinsworth slant pass on short slant, second and four. Collinsworth has it. A fumble recovered by Chicago. Gary Fensick recovering. That is the third turnover. Of the day for Cincinnati. And it's the only thing keeping Chicago in the game right now. They have the ball. First and ten from the 30. Orton looking for Peyton. Peyton picking up three. Casanova on the stop. And again, they're going to use Peyton as a recipient of a direct snap. He gives. No, he fake giving to Orton of all things. Just a one-yard gain. Third and six. 4-11 left in the third. And Peyton losing two. Atkins on the stop. Fourth and eight, and the Bears have to punt it away again. They have not been able to do anything in the second half. A nice punt by Brown out of bounds at the 24. First and ten. We have 2.41 now left. Dillon trap left. And that's going to be a gain of a yard. Erlacher on the stop. First time I think we have called his number today. Second and nine. Screen to Dillon. That is caught. And that's a gain of just another yard. A season high for Kenny Anderson. 385 yards. Third and eight. And we'll look to Ross on the short cross. But a marker, that's got to be. Pass interference, defense. Number 27, automatic, first down. And with that, it's first and 10, Cincy at their own 35. How about a sweep to the left with Dillon? 
And Corey Dillon picking up nine yards. Second and a yard at the 44. And again, I'm going to go deep to green. That's incomplete. Anderson now 32 for, uh, 22 of 33 for 385. Two picks, four touchdowns. Third and a yard. We'll put three tight ends in, so that's going to be Ross, Trumpy, and Holman. And we'll run it to Dillon. And he got the – no, he is just short of the first down. We'll go to the fourth quarter. It's Cincinnati 31 and Chicago 20. Cincinnati now up to astounding 475 yards on 49 plays. 33 of them have been passes. For Chicago, 217 on 43. 30 passes. And we're going to punt here. Take no chances. It's going to be McAnally. And I think this is the first time since he has punted all day. We'll go to the sideline. And not a good punt there for McAnally. Only 30 yards. So Forte and Willie Galt coming in, and Chicago will go four wide probably for the remainder of the game. First and 10 at the 25. Chicago clinched a playoff spot a long time ago, so it's Cincinnati who really needs to win. If they don't get it, they're out. Second and 10 at the 25. That will eliminate Houston and New England if Cincinnati can hold on. Orton to Galton, complete. Third and ten, ball to 25, and Orton throwing, picked off, and that is Casanova. He fumbled, Dunlap for Cincinnati, jumped on it, first and ten for the Bengals at the 35 of Chicago. Well, I'm going to keep trying the long passes. We'll go Hushman Zada, play action long, because I think I could beat Chicago deep. And that's Corey Dillon doing it all by himself, a gain of 24. And that puts Ken Anderson over 400 yards on the day. He's at 409. And now since he is one yard short of 500 yards on the day, this has been an incredible offensive performance by the Bengals. Dillon on the inside. One yard gets them 500, and they get three. So that's 502 on the day. For the Cincinnati Bengals, and we have 13:32 now left. And if I was Cincinnati, I would just run the ball. Dylan on the inside. Marker holding offense number 89, 10 yard penalty. So Ross commits the holding. It's going to be second and 17 from the 18. Let's get it to Bob Trumpy on a short cross. And Trumpy has a touchdown for Cincinnati. The 36th TD pass for Kenny Anderson. It's now 37-20. to 20. And Cincinnati very much looking like a playoff team at this juncture. And the extra point good for Graham, 38-20. And the way things look, Cincinnati will probably get that last seed, that number 16 seed, so they'd get whoever the 9 seed is. In the first round, we have 12.33 left to play. Here's Sayers, and he could change things around real quick. Took it at the goal line. He's chugged it up past the 20 to the 25. And now the Bears trail by 18 points. 12.27 left in the fourth. They give to Forte, and Forte will get seven yards. Nelson on the stop. We've had two turnovers now by Chicago and three for Cincinnati. We've had a lot of scoring, but we've also had a lot of turnovers. 40 stood up at the line by Dunlap, and that's going to set up third down and three. With 11.33 now left in the fourth. It's Orton looking the flat for 40, but he overthrew him. Graham, one of the receivers, is out for the game. And Chicago will punt it away with 10.55 left. They have made they made the playoffs, like I was saying, a few weeks ago. Holding. Receiving team. 10-yard penalty. Nelson called for holding, and Cincinnati now backed up first and 10 at the 22. We'll go Fenner on a dive, but 
Chicago playing short tight. Oh, I'm feeling vicious. Medium hitch to Ross on first and ten. Oh, that fell right out of his hands in incompletion. We're going to go stretch to Dillon on second and ten. Cincinnati now up to 520 yards on the day. A gain of five for Dillon. Dillon is now at 15 carries for 60 yards. And on third and five... I'm going to go Collinsworth on a short uh, short cross, but a marker. False start. Offense, number 71, five-yard penalty. And that third and five becomes third and ten. Seeing some clamoring around the coaching staff of Cincinnati, they might take Anderson out and let him rest the rest of the game if the score holds when they get the ball back next. But first, it's Collinsworth. But instead, it's a screen to Dillon. Dillon picking up four yards. A season high, eight catches for Dillon. But Cincinnati will have to punt. Here is Pat McAnally from the 28. Oh, a block! Recovered by McMichael, and Chicago has possession. Mal Kuttner is going to come in and replace Graham. First and 10 at the 17, so don't go away just yet, folks. Forte, a gain of six. Second and four from the 11. 18 point game. That is incomplete. Looking for Forte. Orton now, 17 to 36. 17 for 35. He had a good start, but he's, he's not, not had a good time of it since. And Orton looking to throw. Pick. Riley. The previous play is under review. They're going to review it. The ruling on the field stands. Interception. And with that, that's our seventh turnover of the game. Riley has his third pick of the season, and we're going to take Anderson out. And we could go to Carson Palmer, Andy Dalton, Boomer Esiason. And we're going to go with Carson Palmer the rest of the way. First and 10 at the 20. Give it. Give him a fresh look. Trap right to Corey Dillon on first. We have 823 still left in this game. And the time could not move off the clock quick enough if you're a Cincinnati Bengal fan. No pickup. Second and 10. How about to Fenner on a screen, which will be Palmer's first pass. And it was deflected. It went to Fenner anyway. And Palmer has been injured. So we're going to have to put another quarterback in. We'll go to Boomer Esiason. They had a Golden Girls skit on Super Bowl twenty-three, like the pregame show. And I remember Beatrice Arthur doing this bit about a quarterback named Boomer. It was very funny. I wish I could remember it. Probably on YouTube or something somewhere. Third and two at the 28. They did, they did a skit because that year, of course, the Super Bowl was in Miami, and that's where the Golden Girls hung out. Hung out. And there's Corey Dillon ahead of steam. 13 more yards. And Dillon is now at 17 carries, 73 yards. He has eight catches for 70 yards. How about Fenner on a dive, first and 10? And that is for no gain. Back to Dillon. Trap right. And Dillon will gain one yard. So Miami and Dallas will be our next game. That will be tomorrow, Lord willing, and if the creek does not rise. And that will be for the South Division Championship and likely the number four seed. Either team wins the division with a win in that game. Slant to Hushmanzada on third and nine. We're down to 537. Esiason's going to run, but he's going to be short of the first down. We'll keep Boomer in. No, they go back to Carson Palmer. But it's fourth down, so why are we even thinking about going for it? McAnany will... McAnany. McNally. Thinking of the San Francisco running back. Upon the 37 yards, and so no return at nine. The net 28. 
First and 10 at the 25 with 358 left. It's 38-20 in favor of the Bengals. Long throw for Orton incomplete. Orton now 17 to 37, 197 yards. And it's second and 10 from the 25. Incomplete looking for 87, which I believe is Harlan Hill. Yes. Third and 10, ball to 25, 345 left to go. Chicago's probably going to get a week off next week. Gain of 11 to Conway. And it's now first and 10 at the 36, 336 to go. Over the middle looking for Kuttner, incomplete. Second and 10. Ball to 36-yard line. Incomplete. Third and 10. 3.26 to go. Morton's going to run. But not for much. Two yards. Fourth and eight, and the Bears will go. Incomplete. Cincinnati gets it on downs. 2.56 left to go. Dylan on a dive. And he will pick up one a one yard loss in Chicago's calling timeouts. Much to the booing of the crowd here at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. Two forty nine left. Dylan on the outside will run. Carson Palmer back in at quarterback. Three yard loss. Chicago calling time with two forty to go. I'm gonna run a triple option. What the hell? We'll go Fenner. And Fenner will pick up five. Chicago burns all of their timeouts. And Graham's going to come on to try a 54-yard field goal. If Chicago's going to get cute, I'm going to get cute. And the kick was wide. 2.23 left. And the Bears still trail by 18, 38 to 20. Sideline looking for Hill, incomplete. Offsetting penalties. Repeat, first down. Yeah, it's getting a little chippy now. Offsetting penalties, first and 10 from the 44 with 2.15 to go. Another pass batted at the line by Dunlap. Orton now 18 for 43 for 208. Second and 10. Orton's going to let this baby fly, incomplete. Five bad passes today for Kyle Orton. So Chicago will be probably be back with Sid Luckman when they play their first playoff game. We are at two minutes exactly, so the two-minute warning given. Bears have no timeouts. The Bengals with all three. Very inconsequential at this point in time. And that's a throw to Conway. A gain of six to set up fourth down. I'm not going to call timeout. Fourth and four. A minute 50 to go. Screen. Forte's going to get the first just to keep the misery going a little bit. Gain of five. First and ten at the 45. Bears have no timeouts. That's Cincinnati 45, by the way. It complete looking for Harlan Hill. Second and ten at the 45. 56 seconds now left. Incomplete. Another 12 seconds off the clock on that bad screen pass by Kyle Orton. Third and ten at the 45. So Cincinnati should be the 16 seed. They'll, they'll be in at 10 and 8. And my prediction I made a few weeks ago is going to come true that uh, the playoff cut line will be 10 and 8 and, and uh, Cincinnati getting there. The coach for Cincinnati just got a Gatorade shower. Fourth and 10. 45 seconds to go. And that is a catch for a first down for Conway. For Conway, a gain of 18. Now it's first and 10 at the 27. We're down to 28 seconds. And that's going to be Hill with a gain of 22 down to the 5. 17 seconds left, but this score is going to be very inconsequential. Pass to Conway incomplete. 14 seconds to go. Second and goal from the 5. Incomplete. Ten seconds left. Third and goal. Ball at the five. That's a touchdown to Willie Galt. 
And the Bears will go for two with one second to go. A sack on the two. 38-26. We'll watch for the onside kick that's got to be coming here, right? And that's recovered by Johnson. The game is over. Cincinnati will go to the playoffs. And we have our playoff field. It's just a matter of seeding. Cincinnati 38 and Chicago 26. So Cincinnati at 10 and 8 will be the last team in. Which ends the seasons for New England and Houston. There is no way either team could make the playoffs. New England will finish 9 and 9. Houston 8 and 9. But if Cincinnati had lost, a win by Houston would have put them in. Wild game. Anderson took player of the game honors, MVP. Uh, 548 yards for Cincinnati. I don't know if that's a high for the season, but it's got to be up there. Anderson, 25 for four, 37 for 431 yards. He threw two picks, five touchdowns, had a rating of 124. Palmer did mop up duty for the Bengals. Dillon, 20 carries, 70 yards. We had Dillon leading with eight catches, but we had Green for Cincinnati at 124 yards. Hushmanzada with a buck 10. And your leading tackler in this game was Night Train Lane and Brian Erlacher for Chicago with eight. So there you go, folks. We have our playoff field. It's now just a matter of seeding. Tomorrow, Lord willing, and if my creek doesn't rise, we will be back for Miami and Dallas from Miami to decide who goes in as the four seed winning the Southern Division. But we have our field. We have our 16 teams. So congratulations to New York, Washington, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cleveland, Chicago, Minnesota, Cincinnati, Dallas, Miami, Tampa Bay, Atlanta, San Francisco, Kansas City, Denver, and Los Angeles. We had four teams from each division make the playoffs, which is a rather astounding because I didn't set it up that way. It was the four division winners and the next best 12 teams. So we're going to have quite the playoffs starting on May 9th, Monday, May 9th, and we'll try to get the playoffs over by Memorial Day. I'm going to do games on the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, take a day off. We'll do games Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, take a game off, and then come back Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we're in two weeks, we're going to do three rounds, and then we will come back Tuesday and Wednesday of the third week, uh, do our semis, and then do hometown bowl number two from Hard Rock Stadium in Miami on a Friday night. So I hope you all enjoyed it. This has been Big Polly coming to you, wishing you well. Godspeed and God bless. We will do it all again soon. Bye-bye for now, everybody. <laughs>